let's talk a little bit about a day in a life of an x-ray tech, right? So you said you work graveyard. So so what is that like? What's a typical day uh, working the graveyard shift? Well, uh, so I work at a level one trauma center. So uh, one of the reasons why I like the either either the evening or the graveyard shift is um, because it's generally, I'll say, when the most like exciting trauma cases start popping off in the day. Um, I think around three o'clock is when a lot of the trauma starts rolling in. You know, I, I've seen some really bad stuff on day shift, but, um, you know, people start drinking. They start, you know, partying. They start getting in fights. They start getting in car accidents. They start shooting each other in more of the afternoon, evening, <laughs> nighttime. So that's one of the reasons why I like working graveyard. People always say that I'm like kind of an adrenaline junkie. And I'm absolutely not like I have no uh, interest in jumping out of an airplane, but I do really like the fast paced, uh, excitement, high pressure, life saving decisions and moments kind of thing of, of the of the hospital on night shift. Um, so like when I go in, uh, my my workday starts at 11 p.m. Uh, so I, you know, I sleep a lot during the day. It's always for me. Um, finding a fine balance between getting enough sleep and still being able to be productive in the day before I go to work, you know, laundry, all that kind of stuff. So I'm always trying to find that balance. Um, but uh, so for me, I start out uh, 11 PM, go into the hospital. Usually I survive on caffeine. So, you know, take an energy drink on the way. By the time I get there, I'm all pumped up and ready to go. And um, a lot of times, as soon as I walk in, the trauma pager is going off. Um, in Los Angeles, we called those uh, TTAs, those Trauma Team Activate. Uh, and here, this hospital, it's uh, rated in codes. So code one is, you know, the most critical gunshots, stabbings, they were in cardiac arrest. Uh, code twos are like really severe car accidents or assaults. And code threes are usually just like assaults, fainting, stuff like that. Um and that's kind of like just how my day starts. You know, it's a lot of big multiple exam cases down in the shock rooms and the uh, the ER portably. Uh, and then halfway through the nights when we have to start doing portables. So that gets to be like the nightly routine portables for all the, the heart surgery patients, um, intubations, you know, checking ET tubes, all that mm -hmm. stuff. Any advice for somebody who's maybe gonna take on that shift, right? Cause because that's a great shift. Um usually tends to pay a little bit more too, right? Like there's a lot of benefits to that to working that shift. But any tips that you would give to somebody considering a, a night or graveyard shift? Yeah, I mean I always say that every shift, in my opinion, has its pluses and minuses, right? Like day shift, you have a little bit more normal routine schedule. Um evening shift, I always say is like you know the, the three to eleven. It's great if you're single and uh, you get to sleep in. You stay up late, watch Netflix as soon as you get off at like midnight. You still can sleep in, get things done the day, then go to work. Yeah. If you're married or in a relationship and your schedules are a little different, that makes it harder. Um, graveyard does pay more. Um, I get about a $3.25 differential pay on top of my base pay for working graveyard. Uh, evening shift gets like two something. And day shift just gets their flat rate, right. you know? So for me, that's part of the incentive, obviously. Um, I will say that it's probably the easier shift to get into uh, because nobody wants to work, you know? Sure. Sure. Uh, and they're night people or it works best for their schedule. Um, so it's, it's usually the one that will be open or the most online for an application, which also is the reason I'd say most new graduates get put into that position. Um, cause it's kind of like just getting your foot in the door, right? It's like yeah. get your foot in the door, put your time in when a better position opens up on a different shift. If you want to, you can apply for it. Yeah. Um, for me, I like it. I don't know. It works for me. It works for my schedule. Um, you know, like I said, the, the hardest thing is just finding that work life balance, you know, cause like when I get off on the weekends, my family wants to see me or do birthdays or whatever. And I know I have about a set amount of hours that I can be awake before I start I'll fall asleep where I'm sitting, you know, or what have you. So the sleep is probably the hardest part of it is uh, doing that. I mean, I get my weekends 
turned around all the time. Like if I go to sleep as soon as I get home on a Saturday, because I work Monday through Friday, right. um, I won't be able to go to sleep that night. And mm. then the whole weekend, my I'm working the same, I'm st- living the same schedule as the graveyard shift during the week. So yeah. wow. that's the difficult part. Yeah. And and like you said, like in the night shifts, it's good for starting out gain experience. And then eventually I think people tend to, you know, take on another shift eventually, right? Like I think, you know, after a while or some stay with the night shift, because once you're in that routine, it works out pretty good. You know, you, you start to uh, align things with, with the shift. Um, yeah. I, I hear people say all the time that like people who work graveyard for like 20 years, you know, die earlier. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> But I will say, like, it's very convenient for uh, getting things done, doctor's appointments, all that stuff. You don't have to, to take off. And um, it's just, you know, it's it's good in the sense that you can get your trauma experience, like you said. And what one of the things I like about it, and I hear a lot of people say, is that, you know, there's no administration really there. <laughs> <at> <laughs> night. So, like, you know, it's kind of like you can just work, take care of your business, don't have to, like, be worrying about being micromanaged. And, uh, at the same time, you know, you, um, you know, you just kind of, it's a little bit quieter, you know, yeah. the hospital. I like that. I hate when it comes morning shift. I've worked doubles where I go from graveyard shift where it's quiet, the hospital's empty and I work a 16 hour shift into morning mm. and I just can't deal with that energy, you know, like going from the yeah. quiet calmness to like the chaotic part of the day. It's, it's terrible. Two different vibes, huh? Two different yeah. vibes. Yeah, absolutely.